guys, it's that time again. It's time for my August favorites, and I kind of have like, I'm all over the place this month, but um, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing for my August favorites, I'll do the stuff that's not makeup first, are these shoes. They're little flats. I got them from Kohl's. I think they were originally like $39.99 and I got them on sale. I'm not exactly sure what I got them for. And I don't know if they show up on camera as cute as they are in real life, but they are like little Oxfords and they're like a gunmetal color. And they are so cute and unbelievably comfortable. Like I wore them to rehearsal the other day and it was like everybody was like, oh my God, those are the cutest shoes, those are the cutest shoes. So they're super, super cute. And I think they were like, like I said, I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for them, but I think like $18.99 or something. So like a really good deal. Super cute, super comfortable Oops. shoes. So those are my first August favorite. My second August favorite is more clothing. Um, and it's this blazer. It's kind of hard to see. But I got from Target. It's a black blazer. It's got the cuffed sleeve with like, I don't know if you can tell, like the pinstripe in it. And um, I think this was like $30. I'll try to get up and show you. It's just a plain blazer, but it fits. Um, let me see if I can move back. It fits super well, and it's just really cute and comfortable. And I like the way it comes up the great uh, to like the perfect length. And um, I get lots of sorry. I get lots of compliments on it as well. So um, I really like this. I think this is a good purchase for both summer and the fall. I think it's really cute. So. That's another pick. My third and final thing that is not makeup related is my purse. I got my purse from TJ Maxx um, and I think I paid like 30 bucks for it and it's I guess Echo Red and it is all studded and it is like super fun and I get the most compliments. I keep saying I get the most compliments but I do. I get a ton of comments on this purse all the time and I'm like, oh, TJ Maxx and people are like, shut up. Like, nobody believes me. I don't wanna show you what's inside of it really because it's a mess right now. Like there's like a billion lip glosses and stuff, but the inside print, it's like red with like black design on it with bows and stuff. I don't know, but it's echo red and it was really reasonable and super cute. So check out your local TJ Maxx. All right, something that I haven't worn a ton this month but I'm just so impressed with it. The only reason I haven't worn it a ton is just because I haven't been doing looks with it a ton, but I can tell you like from now on until like I die, I will buy this eyeliner. It's the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Liner Intense, the felt tip liquid eyeliner. I don't even know if you can read that. I don't even know, but it's just the plain black. And I know a lot of people talk about this on YouTube, but I had, um, like, you know, like the department store version of this, like the um, Lancome, I think, or it might have been Estee Lauder, I think it was Lancome version of this, and it used to come off my eyes. And I have really heavy lids, um, and even if I let it dry, and heavy and oily, um, eyeliner and stuff tends to come off or make a big mess on my eyelids. This stayed on all day in my super hot workplace with no air conditioning in Florida in the middle of the summer, 103 degrees, and this stayed on. Like, I was so unbelievably impressed. I never would have in a million years thought that any product would have stayed on as good as this did, let alone a drugstore product. So if you are interested in an eyeliner that stays, I highly recommend this. In the realm of eyeliners as well, for the bottom, and actually just because I've been trying to go with a outlined but less intense than just black liner look, my Revlon Color Stays I got at uh, Walmart. I got in charcoal and I got in brown. I've been using them pretty much, alternating them pretty much every day because they give a really good line, really good outline. They're good quality. They stay on pretty well and they were really, really reasonably priced. So I'm loving these. For mascaras this month, I've been consistently reaching for CoverGirl Lash Blast and CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. Um, you know what they look like. They have the same brush, that little fat brush. Uh, you know, everybody's seen these a million times, but these are just the ones I've been reaching for this month. I have a whole bag of mascaras. Um, no particular reason other than for some reason this month, these have just been my choices. So I've been loving these for the month of August. Um, I got two palettes 
from um, Sephora. I think uh, they were either five or ten dollars each. They're the Stilla um, Collectible Travel Palettes, number one, which is Road to Radiance Across the USA, and number two, which is Pretty in Paris. And they each come with a middle mirror, and there's four eyeshadows and a cream blusher in each one. And this is the um, number one palette. And um, the shadows in here are like really good shadows, really pretty. Um, you know, you can use them for a million looks. And the cream bl blushers are really, really nice as well. So I understand there's going to be several of them, so I'm going to be getting all of them as they come out. Um, and you should too. Good, good, good product. So, excited about that. If you saw my video, you know that I ordered three palettes from Sleek, um, and they came very quickly, and I was very impressed with the quality of the palettes. Um, and this month, mostly, I've been using um, the original Sleek palette, and you can see a little bit where I've been using, oh, let me see if I can't get rid of some of that mirror. There we go those gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I've been using them and I am just even more in love with it than I was when I got it. Um, not that I'm e any less impressed with the other two palettes. I just keep reaching for $5.94, the original. This as well was, I believe, a $10 palette. Now you do have to pay $13.50 if you have it shipped to America um, from the UK. So I bought three of these and I got a free sample of a lip gloss plus $13.50 for shipping. So for $43.50, I got three sleek palettes and a mini lip gloss. Um, I also, for the day, have been using um, Benefit's RSVP Creaseless Cream Shadow Liner. I've been using it um, all over the lid. Let me see if I can't get it out here. It's a very like nude, just shimmery color. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just really pretty. And I've been using it for the everyday, just kind of all over my lid. It's, it reminds me a lot of um, the Bare Study Paint Pot from MAC. It's just really just like a kind of shimmery, white, golden, I don't know, really pretty eye color. So I've been using this kind of all over on my eye. To eyeshadows, I went out this month, and if you know me, you know I love my Kat Von D palettes. And this is the Adora palette, and I got it from Sephora and it's the newest of all of her eyeshadow palettes and this month I went out to see some friends and I cracked open this palette and I used the Ace of Spades which I don't know if it's going to show up but it's this purpley one right here not the very end one but the purpley black next to it it is like the prettiest color I used it like heavily heavily when I went out and it looked so pretty. That's like just a thin bit of it. I packed it on. If you've been watching any of my videos, you might recognize the L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balm Pigments. And um, this is in 220 Ripe. And someone asked about my lips in one video, and this is what I had on, just this. I put it on with a, with a lip brush in that video, but let's see if I can show you. It's just a really pretty, like, a very smooth, shimmery, peachy lip tone. And I also have it in, I don't remember the number, it might be 320, but the color's called Delectable, which is like a reddish tone. I used it in my Wee Wee Hitchco Woman video, and I really like that one too. But I've been really going with a more nude 220 Ripe this month. And my final product for this month's favorites is my Christian Dior. Um, shimmer powder number two in amber diamond. I'm sure we've all seen this a million times. So, so pretty. Not shimmery like literally just shimmery like a golden toned, really pretty color. So, um, that's it. Those are my favorites for August. Um, I will have the video up announcing the winner of my contest um, for the Hair Jufu bag, the two China Glaze nail polishes, the $50 MAC gift certificate, and the uh, Target bag in the next couple days and then I will contact that winner um, so that they can get me their address so I can get them their prizes. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you're not subscribed, please do and we'll see you soon. Bye!